so today you're back with Funniest TV Ever for Life. Today, this is my cousin. I'm Caroline. And my name is Georgia. Today, my name is Sarah. Um, today we're going to be making Play-Doh, so let's get started. The things you'll need is a spoon. Can I I get to say this one. Soap. Or, like, it can even be hand soap, conditioner, whatever. Baby powder or cornstarch or flour, whatever you have, that is just like baby powder. And if you like, food dye. So let's get started. So first, you are going to take the container and you're going to pour the soap in it. So, put how much, um, put how much soap and how much soap you put, how much you're going to make, basically. So that's the soap. And this actually, you can get a smelly soap. And then that's so you don't, and like a colorful soap. So you don't have to add food dye or anything. Next, you're going to add the baby powder. And you're going to put it at, at a time in. It smells good. Then you're going to stir it. And it's going to be kind of slimy first, but we are making Play-Doh. So you won't need that much, fla um, not flour, you won't need that much baby powder or like whatever you're using likes baby powder. Like if it's like runny, like if it looks liquidy like this, then you'll like lotion kind of, it, it still looks like lotion, like white lotion, whatever <sighs> lotion you have. Um, it smells like Flower. No. Um, whatever. Um, like if, like, if it looks like, say, lotion, then you still need to put baby powder. Or if it looks liquidy, you still need to put baby powder. So, when it starts to clump up, when it starts to clump up all together, that means it's almost ready. But if it still looks liquidy, the flour, it makes it, it makes it so it's stopped liquidy, so it, like, gets like Play-Doh, so, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not even, you guys are not, I have to do this, this is so hard with, oh, and not to, um, I forgot to mention, but you also might need a towel or something, I'm gonna, it's about ready, but I'm going to stir it. Okay, so if it's kind of like too hard, put more soap. Or if it's kind of still liquidy, put more baby powder. So, so yeah, be right back. So I'm just gonna add just a little tiny bit of soap. What are you doing? So now I'm gonna stir this all together. I already added. Now what you're going to do is knead it together, then it will start to be like Play-Doh. But um, if it's still like, kind of like it gets all over your hands, make sure you add more baby powder. So if it's sticky, then add more baby powder. If it's too hard and it's getting like tiny little pieces, like looks like baby powder is all over, kind of like this, then add more soap. If it's too hard, add more soap. So we are done, but um, this is what it would look like. And yeah, um, it's just um, it's just a little bit of stickiness. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of more baby powder. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to knead it in with my hand. Or like fold it. So there. Um, if it's sticky in some places, just keep on folding it, and then it would be better. So this is what it looks like. Caroline, do you like it? Yeah. So this is this is a great activity for kids. If like, especially if it's the summer, it's a great, it's a great like idea, it's a great project to make for kids. 
if the, if you do not have Play-Doh, I do have Play-Doh. It's just I thought I would show you how to make it. And you can make more than this. Like you can put a whole bottle of baby, little baby. So you can put a whole bottle, how much you want. But I didn't want to use that much, and it smells amazing. Kind of has a tint of pink, and and it looks actually pretty pretty, pretty pretty. Get it? Looks pretty. So yeah. Um. Now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more videos with gymnastics, a baby doll, or projects, or making Play-Doh. So, just comment down below what you want me to do in my next video. Bye!